Welcome, everyone, to Hanging Out with Howie. Tonight, we're going to talk, as Brian said, trains, planes, automobiles, food, everything, all things Atlantic City and Expo. And we have a very special announcement tonight. And uh, Jimmy, do you have a graphic ready to show us, share with us? Yeah, see, on the other computer. Okay, I will share it then. There you go. And this will be the first showing of this. Uh oh. And look at the beautiful graphic Jimmy made here. And look in the red. Pioneer is going Ooh. to um, sponsor the event, and they will be. The first 100 business cards that go into the bucket or whatever we have box will get a free drink ticket. We qualify? And any, anyone else, if you have a business card, of course. Now, also, besides, besides a free drink, you're going to get a chance to win a pair of Pioneer headphones and some other swag. And there will be some more stuff in the next two weeks we'll be adding to that. So, um, and to let you guys know where we're going to be at, I don't think too many people have seen this on the video, but this is what the inside of Beret looks like. And there's our stage, a 20 by 20 stage. Oh, nice. So... Let's get to the uh, trains, planes, and automobiles. Let me welcome everyone first, though. So, uh, we have Eric Wilson with us from Good Guy Productions. Who doesn't Jimmy have a hat? Spin. Jimmy Spin, our awesome, awesome uh, graphics artist and one heck of a DJ. And I know I've heard him. And of course, from Maryland and Carlisle Entertainment, Bill Marsh is here. And we have John C. from Boston here with us, all around good guy and awesome DJ. Heard him many times. And my partner in crime and good friend, Brian S. Red. And the jokester in the bunch <laughs> from beautiful Temecula, California, Mr. J. Brown. And oh, welcome, yeah. guys. So, Brian. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Hey, how do we get there? Well, it depends on how you try to get there. <laughs> there is like this thing where if you're coming from Detroit, there's a direct flight on Spirit Airlines to Atlantic City. Mm. There's that. But nobody's, well, anybody who's not from Detroit and can do this. And I believe it's a rather expensive fare anyway so most people wouldn't do this anyway probably the, the path of least resistance if you're from somewhere other than the east coast would be to fly into philadelphia international airport from there you get on the subway which isn't really submersed it's it's a it's just a train but it's their local transportation you take that to the 30th street station in philly which is in a neighborhood where you want to stay inside of the 30th street station by the way because you need to catch an Amtrak train from there to Atlantic City, which is probably, I don't know, what is it, Jane, hour 15? About, yeah, I was going to say between hour 15, hour 30. Somewhere. Something like that. They, I think they claim it's 90, but I've done it in less. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I have too. So once you get to Atlantic City, you end up at the train station, in which case you need to get into a cab or some kind of transportation to take you to the Hard Rock Casino where the show is. Hence, planes, trains, and automobiles. It, it really yeah. is. <laughs> I would I would only add, in the case of my travels, what I've found is when you arrive, you get in at the convention center. If you head across the street next to the Sheridan, Tun Tavern has a fine assortment <laughs> of beverages because you're probably parched. There's no food or drink service on the train, and you should probably de you know get some hydration in you. Oh, I will say this. If you go to the 30th Street Station, there's a place in there called Gator Gumbo. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah. If you like really spicy mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good. So. Excellent. There is one alternative for those uh, watching this live or on the replay, which will be up later this week, that if you have a large enough group, 
that is coming in to uh, Philly Airport, you can take what's called a jitney. And they seat about 20, and you can get a good deal. They'll pick you up and drive you right to the hotel. And we got to hook up with our friend Peter, the hubcap dude. Yep. So. Let me just tell you guys, there's nothing more fun than hanging out at the Philadelphia International Airport waiting for everyone else to fly in for several hours. I, I would know. have no idea what that's that all sounds about. enjoyable. I, again, if I could just for a moment, what I've done in the past is if you go to the Marriott, it's called the Riverwalk Bar. It's right there on the first floor. These can all be checked by simply going to Google and seeing. I'm absolutely telling the truth. You can hang out there for a couple hours of a little drinky drink while you wait for someone from Canada. Then take SEP to the 30th, as Brian said, and then sure, boom. That's also an option. That's why you're a stuntman for John Wick, because you're well hydrated, right? I've got to be well hydrated. But the one the, And I love taking the train out of AC. I'm getting a ride this year, but I, for like 15 straight years, took the train and love it. You go through the best and worst parts of everything from downtown Philly to Absecon and Cherry Hill. And it's, it's, it's a nice but, ride. It really is. But you but left the, something out. You're not going to find anybody coming from Canada to catch a ride with. Not no, this year, this year no time. Canadians. They're, they're on lockdown. Outlawed. Yeah. But the one thing I will warn you, if you're watching this and you're new to the show, do yourself a big favor. Figure out when you're getting back. Because if you have a mm -hmm. flight before 10 a.m., you're probably going to be on the 445 train out of Atlantic City to 30th because it only runs every two hours. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you take the 645 and you get into Atlanta, to Philly at 845 and then take the second train, you're you're getting there at like 9.15 on a 10 o'clock flight. So mm -hmm. you end up taking the 4.45 train to get into 30th. And if you take an Uber, last 2019 was the last show. I believe Ubers are about 175 bucks. I just heard a bunch of numbers. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I want to know the number of hours you sleep then if you're getting a 4.45 Jitney Thursday night. <laughs> Thursday night is a late night. <laughs> I, I have been known to not. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, we have a great group here. We have veterans of uh, of the conventions, and we also mentioned that we were going to have some of the vendors there. Now, of course, we know Jay has been a vendor there for, well, since the late 30s, I believe. Yeah, that's um, when I started. Eric, <laughs> you've been there many times as a vendor. Tell us a little bit about that experience. So... You know, we started by going just to the convention. We were just like all the people who are listening tonight. <clears throat> we went there to attend, to look around, and um, we kind of got immersed in it. We really enjoyed the whole experience. The vendors, amazingly enough, it's a really small group of people. You'll be very surprised that if you go to multiple conventions, the same people you see all the time, and it really becomes this umbrella of friendship. So we were fortunate to hook up with with canal sound and light out of new york city and mm -hmm. i got to be buds with uh with jeffrey kwan who is the owner and that's a family-owned business Great for guy. Oh, yeah, yeah yeah and so nice matter of fact gabe even called me today he's like uh we're going down for just a couple of days do you want to bunk together so we've become friends enough that you know we're going to room together on this trip mm -hmm. um so we started out one year we did uh x laser Next year, we got picked up by Chave. And then the next five years, we've been with ADJ. So, yeah, I have seen both sides of, of the spectrum on this. And I've got a unique perspective on that where, you know, the first few times I went there, that's Jay Brandon. Oh, my God. He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like, that's Jay Brandon. He's awesome. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, that's just Jay. <laughs> he's, he's kind of a big deal is what I heard. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> so yeah, we, we've been on both sides of it and we've, we've experienced both sides and it's, it's a great, a great experience, no matter how you come into it. And I'm really, really looking forward to my first convention in about 20 months coming up next week. Excellent. So you had did mention about making friendships and rooming now, um, Bill, um, John, Jimmy, you guys have have done that where you get to meet someone hey it kind of cuts the cost if you can share rooms when you're traveling like that yep yep i'm bringing my roadie 
Oh, excellent. R- Rotary and a uh, fellow DJ also. All right. Uh, very you nice. guys all get a chance. To, well, Howie, you've worked with them already. Mm-hmm. Greg's but, uh, a very nice You guys guy. will get a chance to meet Greg, mm-hmm. who is a uh, first responder also. Mm-hmm. And uh, overall, really nice guy. Now, we have John here. We met out in Vegas when we, yep. we did the uh, show out there. What was it now? Ooh, 18 months almost ago or something like ago. that. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was nice seeing you all out there. And uh, I've met a, a good amount of you. And for the ones I haven't seen out there, I'll hopefully catch up and meet you in Atlantic City. I well, I knew he was there. Brand. I knew he was there because my spidey sense was tingling. <laughs> Did, John, did you know any of these guys before you went to the show? Why no, did you go no. to the show? Only from from watching the uh, the YouTube, the DJ and TV episodes. Okay, and just putting the faces to the people when I got down there. It's like, oh, that's so and so, and right. yeah, it, it was a great time. And uh, looking forward to this one too. It should be awesome. It was interesting when I I met him. I, I did the lighting for the Brunswick Room, and they had a Monday night. Uh, you know, social dance party type thing. And he came up to me and he's looking at the booth, which we had covered with a black cloth. And he saw me with the iPad and he's looking at the lights and he goes, are you, are you controlling the lights with that? I, yeah. So we started talking and we, we had quite a conversation. He's like, Hey, okay. I'm, you know, they went up, you know, to the bar area. And so I'm just hanging out, talking to a few other people. A few minutes later, I go up and I see him talking to Jay. So I walk up and Jay goes, hey, I want you to meet my new best friend. He's from Boston. I'll die for him. And I was like, yes, we've already met. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, this is the magic of, hey, just hanging out. Yeah, it's from here, always from here. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, Bill. Come yes, on, you're, you're, you're a food guy. Um, <laughs> always with that. We, we did promise we would tell them some things about food. Let you start off with the food. Well, I'll, I'll chime in and agree with Jay. Tun Tavern is definitely a worthwhile stop. Um, mm-hmm. And if you didn't get enough there, or if you want to just you know try something a little bit different, right around the corner um, behind the Sheraton, on, on just half a block away, is Wingcraft Kitchen. That's an excellent place uh, to, to catch a meal one night while you're there or one afternoon if you want lunch. Um, something tells me this year's convention is going to allow for more lunches, you know, like more <laughs> organized lunches. Um, so, you know, that's a good stop. Um, Jay and I both uh, have, have talked about Los Amigos up on the top end of the outlet area. Um, there's other you know, places in that same vicinity. Um, but right around uh, where we're going to be at, um, aside from just the in-house restaurants, which one's worth mentioning, of course, being White House Subs. Um, and, and, you know, we're going to be in the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. So, shocker, there is a place there called the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, yeah. But near there, there's also um, the Land Shark and... Uh, Right around the corner from that, on the way to Beret, in fact, is Kelsey and Kim's Southern Cafe, once featured on uh, Guy Fieri's show, uh, Triple D. Also featured on Guy Fieri's Triple D is the place we talked about with Pete the Hubcat Man for breakfast one morning, the Gilchrist, which is up uh, on the north side of town near the inlet. And down on the south side of town, um, one of my favorites to go to uh, ever since going the first time is Vagabond, uh, Vagabond Tap House or something like that. Um, very good food there and good deals, you know, both happy hour and late night. Um, and then if you want a little bit of Boston, you can go up to the Ocean uh, Club Hotel and go see Wahlburgers. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Now- who needs the yellow pages when you have a friend like Bill? No, right? Certainly one star. He's a foodie. <laughs> Slow down, and, would you? and the greatest funnel cakes in Atlantic City are right outside the door, 
walk straight across the boardwalk from the casino and you'll see funnel cakes, pizza, and I think steak and cheese subs. Remember, right. Jay, do you remember our uh, Korean lady who had the food trailers and made those bomb subs? I do, yeah. because I remember being out there at three o'clock in the morning with our, open for us. our dearly departed friend. Yes. And he and I got a cheesesteak because we had been drinking a little more than we should have. <laughs> and can't believe that it, it i know and we just stood leaning on the railing eating it like it was the greatest food well, we'd ever had i would see her every year she had three trailers every yeah. trailer right at the entrance of is that steel pier or is yeah. that yeah steel pier mm-hmm. i i don't know if she's still there or not we haven't been on the boardwalk for a very long time but i've been to gino's i've been to pat's i've been to white house for all these cheese steaks they keep talking about that they're the best everybody has the best this lady by far had the best oh yeah she had that great time, they were delicious they were delicious yeah they she absolutely would stay were. open for it. she says what time are you guys going to be done with your thing tomorrow i was like well it gets out at one well i usually close at 12 but i'll stay open for you yeah and we go in the, oh there you are and she'd say to her kitchen person hey make them whatever they want and she was yeah. so nice she was super cool with us because things do close like as i famously found year after year yeah exactly eric it's you know you hit that three to four a.m there's like one maybe two joints and you're walking you're you're going halfway down the boardwalk to find it you have to get down to the other pier that has you know the couple rides on it that's further down never been yeah. down that far <laughs> oh i have like you know that like 3 30 in the morning and you're so desperate for a slice of pizza it'd be Jimmy down. Down there. but you know where you can actually eat 24 hours a day is piccadilly pub across from um irish pub like literally if you come out the front door and you look yeah. and there's this best wings in atlantic city sign and they do have very good wings it's just a dive bar but they do have good wings but there's also the uh, go to White House and shove, get the big, huge one. Oh, yeah. And um, cut it. it up and put it in your refrigerator, man. 100%. So you always got to stand tomorrow. By. 100%. Well, yeah. and, you know, if you want Chinese on Atlantic, right outside of the hotel, maybe three blocks down, you've got Hong Kong. Go nice. two, three more blocks, you get Atlantic City Bar and Grill. Great Americana seafood. I mean, there's no shortage of of good grub in Atlantic City. I'm just a fan of hitting the boardwalk and oh grabbing a slice and oh being my gosh. happy. Jimmy Reed's here. What's up, Jimmy? Speaking Jimmy. of Atlantic City, Jimmy, where did you and Daniel take me that one time? Where did you guys take me for, for, for dinner? Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> hello, guest. hello. We went to this uh, soul food restaurant and they That's had it. the best macaroni and cheese ever, next to mine, of course. Of course, <laughs> of course. In Atlantic City, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really I good. Gotta, do they have greens and everything? Like it's legit? It's legit. Collards, it ain't greens. There's collards, greens, and uh, sweet potatoes. So, <laughs> do you yeah, remember what I ordered now. and it freaked you guys out? You had the pork chops. No, I did not. I had the I had the beef liver and onions. I love it. Yeah, you it. It's done right. Yeah. 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 And when it's done right, it's delicious. Like, really? I'm like, yeah. No, you want to freak people out? Order chitlins. You ever had chitlins, oh, Brian? Yeah. Well, I didn't know. Fried or, that, fried or boiled. Chitlins are one of those things that are either amazing or never again. I did the, 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 the liver because, and I asked her specifically, do you have liver gravy? And she says, yes. I'm like, oh, I'm in. Because the liver gravy is amazing too, and they put it on the mashed potatoes. Yep. That was delicious. Yeah. They were looking at me like, so, "What are you doing, man?" Next time you get it, Brian, ask him to put a little bacon on it. Because let me tell you, liver yeah. with bacon and onions. Oh, I bet. It's oh, next yeah. level. Mm. Yeah. They got banana pudding at this place. Because yeah. <laughs> I love a good banana pudding. <laughs> it was good though. It's it's worth the trip. It was really nice. Damn, I'm hungry. That's All awesome. right, so that's the show. I'm gonna go. I gotta go. Gotta go eat now, right? Peace out. When I mentioned Kelsey and uh kelsey and kim's that is the sister restaurant to kelsey's which is where you all are talking about kelsey's is on atlantic kelsey and kim's is on one of the side streets ah okay 
here. There we go. All right. Hey, what are you most looking forward to uh, doing in Atlantic City? Seeing you guys. Yep. Yeah. And meeting new yeah. friends and JC, who's going to be there for the first time. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Nice. He's coming up from Mexico yeah. City. Oh, yeah. All the way from yeah. Mexico City. We've been talking yeah. to this guy since this pandemic broke out, and he's a he's a dear friend, and I'm looking forward to to giving him a big old man hug and, and kicking <laughs> yeah. it with him for, for the, the week. You went to that man hug thing pretty fast, didn't you? Yeah, right. I don't know if you heard yourself Don't worry, say that, Jay. Right? I got one for you too, baby. All right, good. All right. Uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of that. It's, it's almost 18 months, and for some of us, two years since we've seen some other people. Yeah, it's been two years since Atlantic City. Man. Well, yeah, two years since I've seen Eric, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah the yeah. last one that I was at was... Nam, and then it shut down right after Nam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Hey, Jimmy, is Bob coming? Crazy. Is Bobo coming? Wells. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I know. I already got the week off from no gigs and any yep. consulting. And so I'm planning to be there. Hanging out. Love, is B Love coming? Awesome. Yep. Oh, Hi, nice. awesome. This is awesome. Nice. I will find uh, I haven't seen her in a couple of years. Yay. Excellent. Very, so, very cool. Hey, I heard that there's some kind of bar takeover going on. Does anybody know anything about that? No. Some, I got nothing. I'm, I'm I haven't heard anything. I'm hearing it. Uh, John was mentioning um, a place called um, Borer. Bur- Beret or something? Beret, like, beret. beret. like, like, like the hat, like, like the hat. Like, like oh, yeah. side Red side beret, note. Beret. Side note. I feel terrible, but I have to actually call like three people who are like, "Dude, I can't believe you didn't let me know." That's one of my favorite bands. You opened for John, you know, John Kathleen, <laughs> the Beaver Brown, and I'm like, oh, so, and I don't know if I stick with. Well, they're friends from Boston. Maybe I just stick with like, yeah, I did because how are they going to find ago. out? That was a long time ago. Even, but Not, it was two weeks ago. Even cousin Lisa was like, "Did I miss something?" I'm like, "I had to cop to her." Be like, yeah, what happened? yeah, this is. You see, our well on my screen up in the corner, wearing a beret, our graphics magician Jimmy Spin. He had made. He took the poster, and then superimposed. Featuring DJ Jay Brandon over this thing, and it went. I, I haven't seen a reaction like that since that fake thing when you said that we um, uh, virtual DJ and we, was uh, getting April bought Ford, out, bought out yeah. by Serato. Yeah, we pulled the we pulled the blue, big. Uh, uh, what was yeah. it? Uh, it was Frank April April first. And, yeah, but we outed it and said, no, look, it's fake. We just made it up. It's April Fool's. And, and people it, were like, no, I saw it on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> it must be but true. It, it must be so, true. Because I made it look, I, it, I made it, it look so like a official. magazine. Yeah. yeah. And, was, and even a year later, there was, you know, somebody had mentioned, oh, yeah, they got bought out. And right. No, 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 no. That was April Fool's. Come yeah, on, no, that was, that was a joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I the know. internet the the internet tends to dumb things down for people a bit. Like I saw it, it must be true. And the lawsuit's still pending. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the John Caffrey and Beaver Brown text to come back to me with like, "Hey man, can you, are you available to open up the rest of the tour?" <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're getting a lot of hits about the show we didn't do with you, but it's fun to see if you're actually a real person and could do the rest of the tour. That. <laughs> the, 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 no, I. It, it, you know what? Kind of stuff I'm looking forward to in person. <laughs> well, and but that's I think that's really at the heart of it. And just like I tell wedding clients now, and you know, obviously as DJs with weddings and events, we talk about the dancing and the party and the celebration. But I learned from Howie and Brian and John and Brian and Jimmy and everyone in the JC, everybody in the chat room, and Eric, the, the chill room, Eric. I mean, everybody Who doesn't have a hat. It's, that's come and gone out of here. Hatless Eric. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a time of thanks. And I've told all my clients, you know, my goal at the end of the night is once all the formalities are done, that we just have this kick-ass party. But the reality is I, I just want you, the client, oh, Jay, uh, I understand. When people that may not have interacted with other people 
for a year or two. Mm -hmm. And for them, that's precious time. So mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't view this as we have to dance for five hours because this is crazy. We're back in the game. Mm -hmm. View it as this is such icing on the cake. I normally go and I've done 17 DJ Expos. And I've done them so long that in the beginning, DJ Expo used to run from 10 a.m. 10 a. till noon and then stop for two hours and then start up at 2 p.m. and go till 6 p.m. So you had this two hour open window the first two years I did it. And then they said, no, we'll just go 12 to 6 because they found people were leaving, getting wasted, gambling, and they weren't coming back. Mm -hmm. But that sounds fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. I'm like, really, guys? No, now I'm here, and now we got to get rid of this. <laughs> but I think I'm probably most excited about seeing people, even though I see you guys five, six, seven days a week, and have since February of 2020. Mm -hmm. There's that. Oh, we're here. Oh, it's in person now. Oh, it's like, hey, what's up? I, I think it's going to be a different show in that respect. And I think it's going to be mm -hmm. a, a, its own show that we'll refer back to next year and mm -hmm. the year after and the year after. We'll go, oh, remember in 2021? Mm -hmm. Because it won't be that. Like, I'm not as concerned about bringing the right clothes and hitting the Harris pool and, oh, I hope, mm -hmm. you know, scribble set. And I'm genuinely just happy that I get to go. Like, the yeah. fact when I get off the plane, in Philadelphia, that'll be the peak. Everything else will just be joy because it'll mean that I could fly mm -hmm. and I went back to Philly and I'm doing something I've done repeatedly for 17 times. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you see what, what's What is he doing? Now? I'm giving him the red flashing light. Red, Come on, wrap it up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. sorry. I didn't even see yeah. that. No, I'm, ju I'm just saying, I mean, there are, there's amazing places to eat. There's clubs, there's DJs. The Wednesday night traditionally has been a scribble thing. Scribble is played Wednesday or he's played Thursday. Mm -hmm. The last few years it's been Wednesday. If you are going to this show and you hear the word scribble, find out where, find out when, and be there. Because oh, yeah. nine out of 10 times, you're going to walk away just going, what did I just see? And the that best part is probably a pretty, pretty good. Uh... <laughs> well, no, th there were years with technical issue. There was one year that was just kind of, a, I don't know what happened, but yeah, but for the most part, Scribble is an amazing yeah. party rocker and yes. it's songs yeah. and mixes that you as a mobile DJ can take away mm -hmm. or as a club DJ and be mm -hmm. like stealing it, stealing it. We're stealing back on the it. right property for Scribble too. Cause those were that was his place. Yeah. Well, it was when we had Ego Lounge. Yes, we don't, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's in the middle of Hard. I've been to Hard Rock. Something's got to be there. No, there's not. No, it's an Asian restaurant, no. isn't it? Well, yeah. there was that Noodles when it was yeah. up. There was Noodles, mm -hmm. then Ego. But I heard Noodles and another restaurant kind of took it over. They gotta have a bar of some kind. Mm -hmm. Well, they have that bar up front. That in a perfect world would be what they do. The restaurant, the bar club in the front. So you yeah. could right get to it easily boardwalk. from the expo hall. Ex you could get to it easily from everything. <laughs> so you could get a cocktail and go back to demonstrating <laughs> mixed reports. Yeah. Well, I got to say, I am really looking forward to the bar takeover at Beret. Yeah, that's going to be fun. You know, put on by going to be a blast. News TV and graciously sponsored by Pioneer DJ, giving away the headphones. They're going to be Bluetooth headphones, by the way. Bluetooth yeah. headphones. Bluetooth. Five point one Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Listen to your tracks on the oh. train, on your plane, Probably wherever you, you want to have a wire. It will also have a wire if you want to use them mm -hmm. to actually mix with a controller or oh, a mixer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if CD Bluetooth player. is not an option, you can always just plug them in. I carry, you know, my backpacks over here. I carry, I will be on the plane with my little Lexar MP3 player so I don't kill my phone and a pair of HCJ 1000 or 2000 or whatever headphones I grab. And that's what I use on the train. That's what I use on the plane. And what do you use in the automobile? In the automobile. <laughs> you know, I actually <laughs> use the, 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 the supplied speakers in my 1998 Dodge Stratus. So, 
Oh, we're we fine. We're fine there. Sadly, in the car, just listen to talk radio. Because I have a question for the room, actually. Hey, go ahead, Jake. Uh, and the the reason I have the reason I'm going to ask this is because, and I'm, you know, it is what it is. I haven't mm-hmm. gotten a list of exhibitors at this year's expo, so I know for sure the pioneers going because Jay is going. Yep, and Jay is pioneer. I know for sure Top Edge USA is going to be there because my friend Ada at Top Edge USA hooked me up with a pass to and go. And I talked to Ara two weeks ago. I know he's gone. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. So who else is going? Does anybody know? Another one of our sponsors, um, Max. Electric Voice. Max. He's going to be there. Okay. Or Max. Be there. Yeah. Max Designs. Right. Max be there. Max. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Electric Voice is going now? Uh... As of two weeks ago, they weren't going. Oh, mm. okay. Then I, I maybe I misspoke. I assumed they were going. I, I only know a couple of vendors right that are not going. <clears throat> they're mm-hmm. doing the on tour event right now. Well, I know ADJ is not going because they're not going to any shows this year. Yeah, right. they're Mark. not going. Well, I'm, I'm I hopefully I'm not spilling the beans, but this isn't you know really undercover information. Is I'm to understand it from other people outside of the company that I'm affiliated with. In music is not going. No, they're not. I can confirm that. Okay. And it seems kind of amazing. They could have rented a 23 foot truck and driven two States away, but I'm just saying if they cared about the DJ, they'd show up. Allegedly, so, they don't have anything to put in the 23 yeah. foot truck. Oh, as far as stock or yep. any of their equipment that the mobile DJs are actually, using? well, there's got to be some supply sellable inventory. Yeah. And, and, for, and b- a side mm-hmm. note, due to a chip fire in a warehouse, the shipping costs, I can tell you firsthand, as I told Howie, and I think Brian, and I'll tell everyone, including the millions and millions of viewers watching this, Gazillions. I wanted to just buy a radio for my Jeep. I went to Crutchfield. They gave me 68 options that they had, of which they had two in stock. Wow. So the electronics market right now, if you're looking for things, forget it. As I told Howie, if you go to Apple right now and say, I want to buy an iPad, take my money. They'll tell you the earliest we could get you is August 16th. You know what's amazing about right, your but story? I got a hookup for you tomorrow. Right. What's amazing about your story, Jay, is yes, that sir. you're the first person I've ever talked to who's bought something from Crutchfield. Really? That was 17 years Crutchfield old. And they buy somewhere else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah you know what? <clears throat> no, the cab after the JC Whitney. Right. <laughs> I bought from Crutchfields in the past because. At the time, I didn't have a 19-year-old that made me help him change a transmission out. I was alone in the world. And at the time, it said, so if I just plug these two in, I can just put the radio in myself in my Sebring convertible in like two minutes. Let's do it. Sherwood or Alpine? Um, I put Actually, I put a Kenwood deck in. Okay. Mm. Another manufacturer I know. This is like 20 that- years ago, dude. I mean, what did I know? It had a face. That's, that I flipped. remember. That's what I bought from him. I bought a Sherwood receiver. Awesome. Now the, the whole cameras. electronics market is really getting decimated, uh, and anything yeah, that's new ship, you know, mm-hmm. so last year say? five thousand, now twenty thousand. Well, I, uh, we're, we're certainly going to have a good time. Um, oh, but there's going to be a blast. As far as I know, I'm, that I'm aware of, the only thing going on on Tuesday is going to be. <laughs> At Beret, yep. Yes. Starting at eight, going until whenever, and it's a beautiful place. Great food and barbecue. Everyone's invited. Just leave your yep. attitude somewhere out in your hotel room. Yeah, no attitude because we're all please. just cool people who want to hang. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, we all just kind of love everybody, and everyone's welcome. There's no pretension here. This this is not. Yep. Yeah, this 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 is there's no VIP section. Everybody's a VIP. It's right. just Utopia. Everybody. Come on yeah. over. Well, and so- there are no there are no guarantees, but I am going to say this out loud. So hold me to this. If you're there that night, you can run up to me and be like, "Hey, what happened?" And you said, Don't "And I'll hold give you an answer." It. Okay. There are people that may be at this show that I'm fortunate enough to call friends that Howie knows and Brian knows and other people in the room know. And if they are there, I've already put out a, are you going to Expo? Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously considering it. Okay, if you do, I need you to show up someplace Tuesday night, maybe do a quick set. Oh. Why? What's going on? 
we've got this bar, it's a club, we're taking it over. Just bring some stuff in a flash drive, we'll make it work. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Here we go. Nice. So, like, big, big name people. So, hopefully, yeah. if, like, if they're there, they will be very gracious and accommodating, and they'll, they'll they always are. Oh, yeah. They always are. Yeah. They always are. So, you know, it, right. it could turn I, into, I think this will turn into the party that used to be the hard promo hard only hard Pioneer hard DJ. Hard. Oh, yeah. Right. House of Blues Party, yeah. House of Blues <laughs> yeah. Party. Yeah, I know Stevie B, you know, <laughs> or sure. and Lady Gaga. I I, yeah. I, Gaga. I can oh, confirm yeah. that one time. I, yeah, I can confirm right she now. Won't be there. <laughs> Lady Gaga will not be there. <laughs> I can also confirm that Aerosmith, Metallica, Boston, <laughs> Kansas. Top? Well, they're still on the edge, but King Crimson, <sighs> it's still a maybe. Maybe and 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 sadly, don't forget we, sticks. We already, we already know <laughs> that. Uh, Liz Marquis won't be there either this year. Too uh, soon. We, uh, we do need to be. pour a little on the curb. In spirit. The one. He will in definitely spirit. be there in spirit. I don't, I don't pour out. I just, it's, it's yeah. he was, he's been there before. In no, spirit. Pour in, out. why waste? <laughs> um, Alrighty. I think we're going to end on that happy note. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Bill. Way to bring this happy note. Down. He was <laughs> <good>. Bill opened <laughs> his mouth. I, I was trying to answer Brian's question earlier, but RCF will be there. Oh, good. Oh, oh right on. That was Shabay Shabay gonna be there? Yes. And J um, I haven't heard confirmation about them, but it wouldn't surprise me if they were. Um what I what I know about RCF is allegedly they are only going to be showing and selling their new nine hundred series. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. And they're I only going gonna, to have a we're, demo. We're in for a lot of surprises. Really? Okay. I, I believe that much. Yeah. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Yeah. Right at this all point. Right. Yeah. But really, honestly, it's about you guys. It's about yeah. seeing all it of you. Really is. It's about exchanging ideas. It's about being nothing, together. Nothing mm -hmm. beats face to face. We can do this forever. We can do it if every we night, have, and we've done it. But <laughs> nothing beats like FaceTime. That. And no, it's it's going to be exciting as anything just to be in person again. Yeah. yeah. You know? And and again, and let's not underplay the biggest thing about this show that I walk away with every year. A huge bar tap. No, um, just <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the knowledge that you learn. A warrant. Yeah. What, well, mm -hmm. hopefully not this year again. Yeah. Um, just the things that you learn talking to people in the hallways. You know, as we've always said, it's that mm -hmm. nickel knowledge you get in the hallways. And if you do go to the show and you don't know someone, go up and ask them a question. Be like, you mm -hmm. see the, you see a badge? Go up and be like, hey, I'm John. I'm a DJ and so-and-so. Hey, mm -hmm. what do you do for intros? What do you do for first dance? This is where we get to be superstars, all of us. It's not about vendors. It's not about us. We, we're there to support the show, make it happen, and spend the big money because you're there and we want to be able to give you the information and the knowledge. That's mm -hmm. why we're there. We're not there to show off. We're there to answer right. questions. So make sure you go to a booth and ask a question. Make friends with a vendor. You, it goes a very long way. Somebody like, you know, Canal Sound. Jeffrey Kwan is an amazing guy. He's hooked people up. Mm -hmm. There, There's so many companies that are going to be there that you have access to that it means more FaceTime with these companies and with us as vendors than it does on, I sent you an email, yeah? So did everyone else. Versus, hey, man, you got a second? Can I buy you a drink or can I talk to you or whatever? Just be present. Be in the moment. That's all I say. Just like a wedding, I tell every couple, be present and be in the moment. We all move forward yep. when we all work together. Yes. That is yep. so true. Well, way to top me there, Eric. Thanks. I'm just summarizing. Good with the present moment thing. Thank you for the summary. Yeah. I thought, um, I, was, I, thought I had that. I was like, We're going to put a fork in it, guys. And we'll see you next week. And last time before Expo. Thank you all for your participation. And good night, all.